Hello. Hi, Arlene. Glenn Lucas, Fishing Game. How are you? Oh, pretty good. I've got a number of bird problems. The kestrels get kicked out of the nest to learn to fly. Well, the F1, it looks like it's all right, but I'm not sure if we're doing the right thing or not here. Yeah. So, the mother bird is quite protective. OK. <laughs> so, I'm thinking I can swing okay. down and take a look at it and hopefully figure out what's going on. OK, thanks. See you, Arlene. Bye. Sounds like a bird got kicked out of the nest a little early, and she wants me to look at it and see if it's something that needs to be brought to a rehabilitator. She's a nice lady. Hi, Arlene. See, what they, do we got? They come down from way up there, see? OK. In the south, and yeah. The and they still hang out? Yeah, they do. She's starting to get enough uh, feathers now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got some fluff. Kestrel is a smaller size raptor. Uh, really likes the open fields, open woodlands. It likes to fly kind of low, glides often, and picks off the mice in the field. She hides in that corner. I don't know if the fox did it, you know, because the fox was coming around and scared her. An eye on the mother. She'll dive too. bomb us? Yes. I don't want to get taken out. Yeah. It's moving just fine. Oh, yeah. OK. Here comes mama. There she is. Do you know that it came out from right there for sure? Oh, yeah. Let me call Wings of Dawn and yeah. see if they, you know, they may know what to do, whether say put it back or leave it or pay for it to get picked off by a fox, like you said. We usually tell people to leave wildlife alone. In this circumstance, Arlene did the right thing by kind of getting it undercover and, uh, you know, and away from other predators that, that could have potentially harmed the bird. Wings, Maria speaking. Hi, Maria. So here's a scenario for you. And I have a young kestrel that fell out of, a, out of a house soffit, out of the eave. The mother's still hanging around. It's actually looking at the tr looking from the tree right now at me. The down feathers are not abundant, but it's not flying yet. Didn't know if it's best for me to put it back in the soffit. I'm afraid it'll just kind of fall out again. Yeah, the best thing to do is try to get him into the soffit again. I'm afraid you'd say that. Good thing I'm not afraid of heights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Maria. Uh, I see a few problems with this situation. And one is me getting attacked while balancing 30 feet on a stepladder with a young bird in my hand by the mother. But hey, that's what they paid me to do. <laughs> she said the best thing is to do is to try to get back in the soffit. Is there some sort of basket that I could hang the bird, you know, in the basket, hang it up there so the mother can get back and feed it. You know, we can put it under here. It's protected from the elements. Well, this ladder looks a little too vertical for me, but. Ah, the ladder that's rated for 100 pounds will break at my 220 pounds. Uh, mother could attack me. What could possibly go wrong? So, CO Lucas, how did you uh, perish? Oh, I was trying to put a kestrel back. Comes a mother. There she is. Oh, she's about to attack me. That's kind of the concern. As I go higher on the ladder, it just gives that mother a little more opportunity to come over and, I don't know, possibly attack me. Or I don't want to get hurt, but I don't want to hurt a bird either. Dear Colonel, I broke my leg while trying to save a bird. Holy moly. Perfect. I hear you. I'm trying to help. Big, ugly green guy in uniform. OK, that's a good talent. Yep, that hurts. See, that ain't that bad, is it? OK, thank you. Yep, I got gotcha. you. I'll flip her over when I get her up there. I'm hoping to hang this basket up and under the, the hangover and uh, kind of closer to where it came from so the mother can hopefully take care of it. By the looks of it, it's going to have plenty of spiders to eat. There you go. She can fly, I think. Why don't you stay right there? You're going to fall again. Next time, Arlene, you're going to have to update that ladder. I don't know how many more times it's going to support me. <laughs> well, hopefully we did the best thing. See you, Arlene. Yeah. Till next time. Yeah.
This is one of those things where I live right up the hill here, and I actually see the kestrels fly up and down as I drink my coffee in the morning. So I never knew where they nested, but now I do, and it kind of feels nice to maybe save, a, save one of the ones that I'll see flying by the house in the future weeks. Dude, <laughs> that ladder. That was doing the, uh, the wobble there. I wasn't a big fan of that. A little bit of an adventure. Ha, ha, ha.